Okay, so I'm here with Alana Ash, and she is the Judge's Choice Award winner from Boost Up 2023, and with her project, the Modified Fast Breast Milk, a family-centered strategy for chylothorax. So Alana, it's been a whole year since your project won on the Boost Up stage. Uh, tell us, how did it all turn out? Well, uh, it's been exciting. Uh, after winning, we were really ready to get in gear and start on our project. Unfortunately, we realized that there was some elements um, that made the project not feasible. So we had to uh, regroup and redesign our study. So as essentially, you, you feel like you probably needed to pivot a little bit there. Um, were you able to still collect and analyze the breast milk samples that you were looking for to get the data you needed? And um, I guess sort of maybe tell us about what is the most valuable part of that data and what do you plan to do with it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we did have to pivot. And so um, we had been planning on um, looking at breast milk uh, pre and post centrifusion, adding in the nutrients. And uh, we realized that we actually needed to take take a step back and, and instead of doing this at a patient level, we really needed to understand better what happens to breast milk on a macro and micronutrient level when you do centrifuge it and remove some fat. And so there was really limited um, information out there as to what happens on a micronutrient level. And, and so we decided to really look at breast milk well so that we can develop a recipe, a standardized recipe per age group. Um, going forward. So we do still plan on doing the study as intended, but we just needed some background information to inform that future study. So we're hoping um, that that won't be too far in the future. Excellent. So I guess sort of share with everyone who's maybe not as familiar with pylothorax. Um, why is this project important and sort of how far do you foresee your, yourself being able to go with it and what the end results will be? Yeah, so chylothorax in our population is incredibly important. Um, it's, it's a known complication of many cardiac or thoracic surgeries, um, especially in infants that are breastfed and rely on mom's milk. Uh, it's really difficult because they need to go on a low fat formula that often isn't palatable. And um, so then they end up being in hospital longer, sometimes needing to go home on NG tube feeds. So if we could make a solution where they could use uh, mom's milk and has all the nutrients that they need and they, don't, they can avoid this formula, it would be fantastic. Um, so this could have a really big impact on many, many infants that have uh, cardiac surgery within the WCCHN. So we're hoping that the first step is to complete this study on really understanding the breast milk. Second step would be to develop a recipe that we can uh, supplement uh, breast milk after centrifuge and actually see this provided within our own population here at the hospital. And I know a lot of parents tell us uh, almost weekly that they would love to see this in motion. So I'm really encouraged. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for the update. Uh, before I let you go, since you've got the stage here with us, is there anything else you want to share with the heart community or just to sort of tell them? Uh, just how exciting and creative this uh, Boost Up competition is. Uh, and this isn't, you know, uh, a plug. This is the absolute truth is that uh, it's really great to tell families about this, to know that they have a voice in this, that uh, as practitioners, as parents, as uh you know, older children with congenital heart defects that when we see things and we think, boy, I'd love to see this change, that we all have an opportunity to compete for this and apply for this. And uh, it's really neat to see that that change can be inspired on so many different levels. Perfect. Well, thanks again for your time. And we wish you luck with the rest of your project and success along the way. Thank you.